get you more then on the preparations for the ANC Gauteng elective conference. Take you live to our reporter on Bali Tatani, who was sitting in at that briefing in Bali. Tell us more about what was said. Right, I don't think Mbali Sibanyoni or Mbali Tatani she is now is quite ready. Let's see if we can give it another bash. Mbali, if you're able to hear me now, just give us a bit more on what Jacob Kawe and Banyaza de Sufi have been saying this morning. Well, certainly, Tembegil, of course, so we have just seen that press briefing take place here at Ruth First House, so where the ANC in Gauteng has just told us about the state of its readiness ahead of that conference this week. And, of course, they are saying that they are going to conference a day early. And, of course, when it comes to issues around their registration process, that seems to be already underway because they are saying that they want uh, the ideas of this conference to continue to go ahead and not waste time when it comes to the logistics of conference. But just to give us a bit of an insight in terms of why uh, this uh, province decided to go a day early to the conference, we're joined by Jacob Kawe. Uh, Jacob, it seems as if, uh, you know, despite some of the disputes that you as a province are facing, uh, you are saying that you are going to this conference a day early. Yes, we are confident uh, that the <coughs> conference uh, will go ahead. Uh, the disputes we are dealing with uh, now only seven, and we have about five appeals with national, and the, all in all it would be 12 uh, branches, plus the six quarantined branches in Agroleni that makes 18, but we do have uh, 427 branches ready as we speak to go to a conference. So resolving the 18 ones, it's not a bigger challenge than the 427 confirmed. We're also starting early uh, in, with our conference because we want to focus on the national policy discussion documents. We want to make a provincial contribution into the policy conference, but also we want our conference to have a political content rather than a conference where people just come for elections. When it comes to the status of the likes of Ekuruleni, they had their conference, but there were still problems coming out of that conference uh, pertaining to uh, those quarantined, uh, you know, votes. What is the status now in terms of their participation in this conference? That will be uh, confirmed by the NEC, uh, which will be convened. We are hopeful that it uh, may be convened before Friday. Uh, or whenever it's convened, but it's largely now a matter with the National Executive Committee. We have done our part. We have had engagements in the uh, province with the task team established. We've also been invited to meet the officials in the country, uh, uh, the president and the team, and they have reported to the NWC, and the NWC will report to the NEC, and then we'll know after the NEC. One would say that uh, it is indeed your last day as uh, members of the ANC in Gauteng. Are you uh, sure that you will be coming back into a top five position into this province? It is not the last day to be a member of the ANC in Gauteng. <laughs> <laughs> We're members of the ANC, wire wire. Uh, as for the elections, it is always important to allow the democratic expression. Uh, and that leadership must be determined by the members that it must lead, far more than by slates, friends, and groups. So as to who must be elected and whether will I be elected, we leave that to a democratic process. All right. Thank you very much. Of course, that is the outgoing provincial secretary of the ANC in Gauteng, Tembegile, saying that, of course, uh, those processes are looking into who uh, will be coming back into their positions. Quite important, as you would know. Uh, of course, the province, or rather conferences, is always about slates. It is always about uh, the numbers. And of course, uh, coming tomorrow, uh, we'll begin uh, to see those two battles going. And we know that so far, uh, Banyaz Ali Sufi is indeed vying for provincial chair. But we also know that Lebuhang Maile is one of those contenders who are also hoping uh, to make that position to lead the province of Gauteng.